hi guys welcome back to my channel if you haven't already make sure to subscribe down below and follow me on all of my social medias i'll have the link down below i want to start off by saying thank you so much to all the ones that have showed me so much support i want to thank you guys for that we've reached 100 subscribers on youtube so thank you for that i want to go ahead and give back to you guys so with that i want to go ahead and give one lucky winner a discount code for my boutique called Cami's Boutique. And with that, you'll be receiving free shipping. So all you have to do is follow me on Instagram at Shop Cami's Boutique, post my most recent picture onto your story and do hashtag Cami's Boutique giveaway. If your Instagram is private, make sure to screenshot it and send it to my page at A Suites or even to Cami's Boutique so I know that you shared and tag one friend in the comments and the more friends you tag the more chances you get to win so for this video i want to go ahead and answer some questions that you guys had i went ahead and did a q a on instagram so you guys sent me all of them so i have here a few so let's go ahead and get started so the first one is Tips on buying affordable supplies. By the way, I enjoy watching your YouTube videos. Thank you. So tips on buying affordable supplies. So I always make do my research on all of my supplies. I first check Amazon because that's the most affordable deals that they have. If I don't find anything, I'll go ahead and go on Etsy. They have a lot of molds or even boxes at an affordable price so check them out or and then i go to called it's called i think it's lavender bake shop or bakery shop i'll leave it down below i don't remember the name um they are a little bit more pricier on some items so first check for sure amazon and etsy um second question what motivated you to start your business by the way i love your work thank you so what motivated me was it was back in i want to say like december january i was just looking through pinterest and i remember seeing this one picture it was a bouquet with chocolate covered strawberries with roses and i was like oh that would be like a good um business to start selling them for valentine's day so my i was only going to sell it for valentine's day because i just wanted to make extra cash and i wanted to distract myself because i was at home with my baby so i went ahead i bought the items that i needed and then i posted them on mark facebook marketplace that i was going to sell and that day on valentine's day i sold i made over two thousand dollars i had people people lining up outside because i used to live in apartments lining up outside waiting for their order i would get all day i started from i think i want to say like eight i didn't finish till 10 o'clock at night people were coming in and out of the apartments and they were texting me like crazy saying hey i'm here for my order last minute orders i was having people coming saying hey can you do a bouquet for me and I was only mostly doing bouquets. I was doing um, just boxes of strawberries, but that's why my logo is a bouquet with chocolate covered strawberries because that's how I started. And since then I was like, that would be a great investment to do. Um, and that's how I've been, since then I've been selling chocolate covered strawberries. Next question what food coloring do you use to color chocolate so i use chef master or i recommend color mail but i personally prefer chef master just because i get that bright color that i want color mail um they do have a more variety of pastel color how do you wash your strawberries before chocolate dipping love your work by the way thank you so I go ahead and I put it on a strainer. You can put it in a bowl if you want, whichever works for you. And I let it run in the water for a little bit. And um, while it's running, I'll go ahead and um, move them around, each and every one of them. 
once I'm done, I don't add any, I've seen girls add like some type of chemical or something. I don't know. I saw it on TikTok that supposedly bugs come out. I don't because I don't think so. It's just, I just add the water. But um, once it's done, I go ahead and dry them with the paper towel. Uh, I make sure to dry them on top as well under the leaves because um, the water will trap in there. And if you dip the strawberry a little bit wet, it's going to create bubbles. So that's why you got to make sure that your strawberry is really dry. Uh, next question. How do you get your strawberries to be so smooth on both sides? So I go ahead and I use a skewer. You can find them at Dollar Tree, any grocery store you find the skewer or even toothpicks. And I go ahead and I insert it into the strawberry. I then dip the, um, my strawberry into the chocolate like I usually do. And I then dry them. I place them on the standing. I place them usually on a cup. I've seen girls put them in a parchment paper, but I don't like that. It creates sort of, they're like more um, bigger on the bottom, if that makes sense. I don't like that. So that's why I place them on the skewer. Any tips for drizzling? So I go ahead, like I've shown you guys on TikTok, if you follow me on there, that I hold my the skewer i don't hold the strawberry and i start from the bottom and i like my drizzles to be very close together um so i'll work my way up and then i'll come back down and drizzle more i make i use a ziploc bag and i cut the very very tip and i just drizzle it from there um but you can use what are those the piping bags you can use those, but I prefer the Ziploc bags because I can just easily dump them. Um, so that was all of the questions. Thank you guys so much. Make sure to enter my giveaway. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.